Hello! We are back with Imperator Rome again. And the last time I played this game, whoo, it was bad. It wasn't bad, it was just flat. It felt like the most 6 out of 10 game I've ever played in my life. Very uninspired, played like a board game from the early 2000s, just, just something really, really lifeless. Uh, but, but now we're at 2.0, so maybe this one's better. And we got some uh, options. And by options, I mean literally no, our options are the exact same. But hopefully there may be a little bit more meat on said options. Uh, basically, from my understanding, the game itself, the events, I think may be slightly different. Uh, I'm gonna... Is boy, boy. There's boy. I'm not gonna play this boy again. Um, I think boy is a little hard to play as, in my opinion. So I kind of have to wait on that one. Uh, just because I'm really bad at this game. I have basically only played like 20 hours in it or something like that. Um, also, Venice is missing. There's no Venice. I guess that's because Venice is, is technically built. I don't know. Is it built whenever the Romans? Is that is that an event? That'd be cool. But uh, anyway. Um, we're going to play over here in the uh, Diacid. Fuck. I remember. I can't remember how to pronounce it. Diacidy. It's not Diadochi. I think it's Diadochi. I'm 90% sure it's Diadochi. And we're going to play as Lysimachus. Um, our options are kind of shit. Because, as you may know, really all of the Diadochi are their own flavor of scumbag. Um, you know, Antigonus, he's a boomer. Uh, you know, uh, Ptolemos is a corpse robin ass thief. Uh... And, um, Cassander, uh, killed the, you know, he killed Alexander the fourth, I think, whatever, Alexander the Great's son. The other Alexanders don't matter, especially his son, because he died. Uh, but I don't want to play as a child murderer. I don't want to play as a boomer. I don't want to play as a weird-ass corpse-stealing weirdo. We do have, so that leaves us with Sela, uh, Seleucus. And Lysimachus. Um, and I thought about it. And Silicus. I just can't get behind it. Just can't can't get behind this guy. He's a he's another another weird guy. You know. I mean he didn't steal anyone's corpse and pretend to be their brother by relation of said corpse proximity. Uh, but we're gonna be thrice. Um, and hopefully, uh, it won't, it won't be that hard. It says the difficulty's normal, so maybe that'll do us some favors. So we're gonna go in here. Let me get some water. 18 years ago, the Aegead King Alexander III died suddenly in Babylon at the age of 32. In the five years preceding his death, his continuing military success had reshaped the world as known to the Greeks, his empire stretching uninterrupted from Egypt to the Indus. The suddenness of Alexander's death and his lack of chosen successor, I think he, uh, I'm pretty sure he chose the successor as, I th he is quoted as saying, to the strongest. I seriously doubt that's what he actually said. Uh, considering all of the other stupid ass shit the Diacidy uh, tried to pull on everyone. Um, especially this one eyed Antigonid right over here. You can't trust him. He has that strong boomer energy. Uh, anyway, and uh, sends shockwaves through the hierarchy of satraps and generals who attended him, splintering his empire into elements ruled by these potentates, styled as the Diacity. Dia Dia Diacity. Diacity. 
I say that and it doesn't sound like that's how it would be pronounced, but I'm pretty sure it's pronounced diacity. Um, for many years, they and their successors have been hard locked in a bitter struggle over the future of the empire, drawing all nations within their sphere of influence into the conflict of the war, oh, into the conflict. The wars of the diacity will surely continue. Perhaps it is up to Thrace to decide how it or how they will end. So, I'm going to try to go against the, the grain. We're, we're not going to go the historical path. Uh, as you may know, uh, historically, everyone just dogpiled on Antigonus. Um, where are you, Mr. Boomer? Uh, yeah, Antigonus. Uh, and he just got dogpiled on. It died, I think it was the Ipsus, right? Ipsus is where he died. And I think uh, his son sailed on his boat over to Macedon and took that bitch over. Where, yeah, where, where's Demetrius? You here? Oh, there he is. Good old Demetrius. And, um... Oh, man, which one of these... Was it, has he failed to take, was it, was it, oh man, I can't remember. I could have sworn he failed to take, uh, Cyprus. Oh well, or was it Crete? Anyway, yeah, is it, uh, or is Rhodes? Is the Rhodes, where is, where is Rhodes? We gotta find Rhodes. Rhodes. Rhodus. Here it is, Rhodes. Okay, it's 100% Rhodes. Because his fight is the entire... The, the defense of Rhodes is the reason why the Colossus of Rhodes was made. Right? So it has to be Rhodes. Otherwise, there would... What does the Colossus of Rhodes even exist for? So it's definitely Rhodes. I imagine he's already failed to take Rhodes. From this dude, who I don't even know who you are. Mr. Dem Demertos... I'm going to mess up so many names. Just get ready. Uh, anyway, we are going to change it up. So we're not going to go the historical path of dogpiling on the on Antigonus. We are going to hopefully try to issue him a uh, mandate. We're going to give our boy here a mandate. We're going to say, give me Ionia and uh some other stuff and i won't attack you and then we're gonna turn around and we're going to attack cassander because i don't want to i don't want to team up with the child killer i feel like cassander is definitely the biggest scumbag they all do scumbaggy things but but cassander is by far the biggest scumbag of them all and i don't really want to be on his team so we gotta uh merge our merge our boats who do we want to lead the boats? Let's get someone... Uh, get that guy. Who cares? Actually, maybe I shouldn't have done that. That probably costs wages. Um, oh, well. So now we got some new systems. So we got the idea system, which I think this is, by and large, the exact same. Right? We have all this... I'm just going to do morale of armies. like morale of armies. Um, we're going to do monthly corruption is good. And I believe loyalty of generals and admirals is good. We got the omen. This has changed. I want to say this has definitely changed. So I have multiple gods. Mm-hmm. We got it. We got some stuff, so I can hit that. Does that come at like a cost? I feel like it should come at a cost. Is it a cooldown based thing? I can replace the Hellenic deity. Can I replace him for it with a? I can. Look at that. A prophet or a god is unknown. Hmm. 
Oh, and some of these have passive effects. Does this have a passive effect? No. Mmm. Deify ruler. What the hell? Deified rulers are ordinary rulers lifted up to godhood. They are worshipped by your population and will be able to be placed in your fertility pantheon. Your ruler will have the same bonus as the Dionysus. And offer and uh, offer a additional benefit when an oakman is invoked. Wow. But this deity is not part of your pantheon for too long and will be forgotten by your people. What the heck is going on here, guys? Oh my goodness, that is cool. You can make yourself a god. Hmm. Okay. I would like one with a strong... I want, I want population growth. I think that's actually like a really shit bonus. We have food. This is food. Do, is this showing up anywhere in here? Is that a number? What do you mean, food? If I go to a place here, does this have food? It does. Oh my goodness. Our homeland can literally starve to death. That's so awesome. Okay. I'm getting... I, I see I'm getting really strong Vicky vibes. This, this game really does feel like Victoria. Like I'm just going to have people who are just going to be starving to death at some point. That's just going to happen. I like that. But I don't like the, the group. Hmm. Let's get, let's get some food. Okay, that's going to cost balance. Ugh, stability. Just kidding. I don't want to lose stability. Eh. Then again, you could say this is uh, this is like happy. This is like uh, estate happiness in EU, right? Where I technically, in an efficiency standpoint, am wasting it by not spending it, because it always goes towards fifty percent. So I gotta find something to spend that on sooner rather than later. The new tech tree is looks super cool. I don't know how effective it is, but look at this. You know how before you would just periodically get new tiers and then you would just spend a bunch of money to buy all of it. Now you got little trees. I love tech trees. Look at that. And there's two branches to it too. Oh my goodness. Uh, what do we want to get? Can I play tall in this game? National citizen output. That seems really good. That's going to cost one political influence? Oh, no. It's going to cost something. I don't know what that that currency is. Is that where if we are to... Oh, crap. Invention, right? Okay, so I have... Okay, so these are act... These can accumulate, so are the high, lower ones going to cost more? No. Okay. The Civic... Hmm. National Freeman. Look at this. Allows formation of League City subjects from your city territories. What the heck? Fertile Nation Great Wonder Effect. What is going on? Oh my god. There's so much. Build time. Okay, so I'm eventually want to get this. Two build times. Wait, was that two? I could get build time reduced by... And these aren't mutually exclusive, right? They aren't. Oh my god, I may have to get that. That looks so good. Uh, aggressive expansion... Loyalty of characters. I don't. I can worry about. That'd be a problem for later. Oh my God! That is a giant tree. Woo! What is this? Oh my God! And they gain stat bonuses. Zero. Mm-hmm. Yes, this is cool. Oh my God! We can discover zero. Oh my God! Look at that. 
as I don't know if you all know, but for a long time in history, uh, the zero was only the only people really in ancient times that had zero on the ball were the Mayans, I believe. They had zero, the concept of zero. Look at that. Yeah. I want to say it was it was the uh, the Mayans. It could I get I it says here it could be the Greeks. Maybe the Greeks got it. I could have sworn the Mayans had it first, or maybe it was just separate. You never know with those things. Mutual discovery and all that crap. Um, hmm. I want to be popular. Isn't isn't ruler popularity good? Yes. Boink. Boink. Fug. Oh my god, this, this is really called Fug? Hmm. I would like some martial upgrades. Which one of these is good? I honestly can't remember if Discipline is still, like, the god stat in this game, like it is. In EU, Naval Tree, we're never gonna touch that. Unless there's some busted ass upgrade in the naval tree. Who cares about naval combat? In any game, for that matter. Hmm. I like siege. I like army weight. That's good for supplies. Um. You know what? Let's try this. We're gonna get. Not that. So we, so we got some discipline, and then we can go over here and get even more discipline. Hopefully this stuff does not take too long to get back. But I feel like starting with a fat 7.5 7 discipline bonus feels really good for everything. Oh my god, we can get... No, that's as drilling. I don't care about active discipline. Hmm, Manipular Legion. We could have our own Manipular Legions at the same time as the Romans. Hmm, Cohorts. This is when active. Oh, wait, am I stupid? I think I'm a big dumb idiot. When activated. Need to drill. Active drill. So when I go to my army here... Is there a drill button for you guys? I think there is. I'm gonna swap you to... Oh yeah, we have like the most random army. I like one-dimensional armies because it makes me feel cool. We'll get a 1% bonus. Drill army. Monthly experience gain. But they can gain loyalty to someone that's not me. I'm not too happy about that. Uh, enslavement efficiency. So here, that's morale. Is there a military button? And like the military screen that I can find what my current uh, status of my... Ooh, look at this. Cool. We got, we got some stuff here. Oh my god, look at that. Distinctions. Okay, I'm interested. I'm interested. We got armies in that legion. I want to see... Is this going to have to be something where I got to pull out the dreaded ledger? Do I got to pull out the dreaded ledger to find the world's sort by every country's freaking... Uh... Oh, wait, here we go. Yeah, it's here. It's in the freaking ledger. For unusual. So, discipline, as we know, multiplier to damage done by your cohorts and ships. So, it looks like it's it's an amazing stat. Okay, that's good. I love discipline. I love making... I am so down to make some ancient uh, space marines of antiquity that, that I didn't wake up thinking that was what I was going to do but today, but that may be what I do today. So, fuck yeah. Um, but it says drill. So, am I allowed to drill 
and move at the same time? Wait a second. Hold on. Is there a way to cheese that? Like, can I, like, turn it on right before I fight someone? Well, we'll have to worry about this later. This, that'll, that'll be for testing later. Is there anything just godly under that that would really make me have to get it? Oh, cohorts is, is gated by that. Oh my god, and promotion through war. Would now generate 0.1 military experience. I love the idea of being a militaristic society in my map painting game. Uh, this, because this is we're we're in the we're in the war of the the Diadaki, Okay, we're we're all wanting to literally murder each other at the drop of a hat. So I'm gonna go here. I like reinforcement rate, and I'm gonna get that. The one thing I'm worried that I didn't spec for is there's probably somewhere in here. There's going to be a manpower restoring button or uh, talent. But I will look at that real quick in between this episode and the next episode. Uh, we're we're going to have to set some things up before we unpause this game because everything is about to go crazy and shit is going to hit the fan really quickly when you're one of the Diadaki. Okay. Um, but yeah, if you like the video, you can leave a like. If you want to see more, you can subscribe. And until next time, take care.